Welcome to the one key data data warehousing tutorial. In this video, we will talk about dimensional modeling. But first, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do so now. Dimensional modeling is a modeling technique commonly seen in data warehouse. In the dimension model, there are two types of tables, the dimension tables and the fact tables. What is a dimension? A dimension is a category of information. For example, time is a dimension. A dimension could include one or more attributes. In the time dimension, for example, you could have year, month, and date. Different attributes in a dimension are related and have certain relationships. In the time dimension we mentioned so far, you have 12 months in a year, so year is the parent attribute of month. Similarly, month is the parent attribute of date. This is called a hierarchy. It's common to see only a single hierarchy in a dimension. However, this doesn't have to be the case, as it is possible to have multiple hierarchies in a single dimension. For example, in the time dimension, we have the relationship from year to month to date, and this represents one hierarchy. There's also the relationship between week and day, and this represents a second hierarchy. There is no direct relationship between week and month or between week and year. So in this case, there are two separate hierarchies within the time dimension. A fact table is the intersection of dimensions, often with some additional associated metrics. For example, in a retail data warehouse, a fact table could represent a sales record and it will commonly have a time dimension, a customer dimension, and a store dimension, plus a sales amount metric. So you can think of this as the primary key in a dimension table becoming the foreign key in the fact table. Also note that in a data warehouse, there may be more than one fact table. Different fact tables will be connected to a different set of dimensions. At the conceptual level, the dimensional model makes it easy to understand the various components that impact the business. At the practical level, the dimension model is structured to optimize for querying. Under this construct, the main table that you query will be the fact table. If you need to get into the details of different dimensions, you can then join to a dimension table. The next time you encounter a new data set, try to think in terms of fact tables and dimension tables. This will help you understand how the data is organized faster. Thank you for watching this tutorial. To learn more about data warehousing, please visit onekeydata.com.